So welcome to another episode of Expired Bren. Today we are not in the mountains taking photos of mountains. We are back at home here behind me. I got a massive, I guess you call it, dark room collection that I purchased uh, locally. This stuff had been sitting in a basement since like the 60s at the very least. Hell, I even got, what's this? Ah, got some Vietnam photography chemicals. Okay, let's check out this pile here. Maybe some of you guys would know this film better than I do. But then this here, one of them was chewed through by a rat. That's disgusting. The other one here, Talbot. Papel Photographico. I'm a, it's a, uh, from Uruguay. Uruguayan photo paper for you guys who enjoy that stuff. Xerox photo paper. Not the type that you can just put in a printer, apparently. Let's see what else we got in this old time capsule. We got Fujifilm point and shoot. That's the only camera actually. But you have some other, other old chemicals here. You don't just have that Vietnam one. So you have DK50 developer for one gallon's worth. You can actually still feel the powder in that one. So maybe the can is not compromised. Same with this one. You can really feel the powder move around nice and loose. Microdoll X developer. Shoot, what's this big versatile developer? Now that has definitely been opened. Jeez Louise. A, a Triax bulk roll hasn't been opened yet. What do you else got here? You got Forex safety film, fine grain positive safety film. We got like six, six bulk loaders with film in them still. I need to go through those. Now down here we have some Primo expired merchandise. You got some Agfa Brovira paper, I guess you'd call it. This is a pretty small sheet though, three and a half by five and a half inches. Now I've actually used some of that in the dark room and it came out pretty well. It does curl like a mother, but it came out pretty well. Also got some record rapid. Oh damn it, ain't even opened. And then you have, this is pretty dang interesting. This would be photocopy paper it comes in a roll form i have no clue what that means that's some older technology beyond me one of the more interesting things though in this pile is a exposed roll of kodak plus x or plus x pan it might be this is a film that is out of production now it's one of my favorites so i actually have a few old rolls of it so i'm going to take it into the dark room here we're going to develop it in some hc 110 and then we're just going to see i guess if there's anything that survived now I was able to look through some of the contact sheets and negatives that came with this pile. I'm giving those back to the person I purchased it from, but nonetheless, there's a mixture. You have some images of San Francisco in the 1960s, which is awesome. But then you also have a bazillion photos of like dogs and cats, which for some people is awesome. But I guess for me, I'd, I'd rather have the San Francisco in the 60s photos. I have no idea what's on this. Well, I got my HC-110 chemicals mixed up now, so all I gotta do is just load up this film in my Patterson tank and we're off to the races. Now, I was thinking about it, and this is plus X pan. Earlier in the 60s, there was plus X, so I think this film is gonna be from the 70s, 80s. That's my guess, but we'll find out soon. I hope you keep your fingers crossed for me because this roll here is gonna be a little, maybe not moldy, but it's gonna be super curly, so. Who knows how tough it is going to be to get into this tank. I'm sure some of you know that experience pretty well. So fingers crossed just to get it in the tank. Let's try it. So as anticipated, this was a pain in the ass to load. Super curled, just always came undone on the reel. And here's a sage piece of advice for you who are also going to be developing any old film. When you, especially on 120, when you get to the end of the roll, then you have the tape at the end. Now, typically this tape is pretty much ancient at this point. And what you want to do is not only remove the tape from the roll, but just to be safe, I would also cut off the part of the roll that was connected to the tape. Because this piece that was connected to the tape for the backing paper is pretty gummy still. And then I know I had one instance where I was developing a film from the 60s. It was 65 expired Verichrome and in that case I left the tape on because sometimes I do do that with 120 film and it pretty much just disintegrated and get like smattered all these 
spots all over my negatives. So according to multiple sources here, we're going to do five minutes in HC110 dilution B for this plus X pan. Well, shoot, that roll turned out pretty decent given the age and for how long the latent image was undeveloped. I do wish I could find out who this was. Maybe I'll talk to the person I bought this from and see if he would know. But otherwise, I mean, shoot, you had some edge bleeding, of course, from just years and years of lying in a basement. And then towards the bottom, where technically it was less protected, it was on the outer edge, that also had some more edge bleed and some fungus, but shoot, we actually got some images out of this, so I'm stoked. Now, there's another rule of 620 film. Gotta figure out how easy it is to do 620, but if I do do 620, maybe I'll just lump it in with this video. We'll find out in a second. All right, so another rule in the books, that was the Verichrome pan here, 620 format. Didn't turn out at all. Had part of it, the part of it tore right here, and I had to like tape it together just so it wouldn't fall apart on the reel, and then pretty much nothing below this. There was no like images below this, so I just decided to cut it. And the images themselves are not, there's nothing there really. It looks like they were exposed, but you can't see anything. You have all these little, looks like roots spreading onto the negative, probably fungus or something from being in some, you know, dark, wet basement. But, you know, that's just part of developing found film. You know, sometimes you get actual shots like the first roll and this later shot, you get nada. In any case, I'm glad you guys watched and I'll see you in the next video.